All right, thank you so much, Jerry. Today, the man accused of stabbing someone on the Atlanta Beltline Trail was in court for the very first time since that incident. Yeah, d judge denied bond for William Coleman, who was facing multiple charges, including murder and aggravated assault. And at the time of this stabbing, Coleman was on the run after walking away from the Atlanta Transitional Center. 11 Lives Karis Belger joining us live on the Beltline. Karis, we know the Beltline, very busy place with a lot of people, scary situation here. What do we know today about Coleman? Well, authorities say that he that Coleman was in a work program at the facility when he left his assignment or did not return rather from his assignment. We recently within the last hour heard from the G Georgia Department of Corrections. He is the third person that we have reported has left that facility just this year. In court today, William Coleman's attorney said he was a longtime Atlanta resident, but a judge still denied the 27 year old bond. Coleman is accused of stabbing a man on the Beltline Friday. At the time, authorities say he was a resident of the Atlanta Transitional Housing Center. He went missing on the 22nd of June, and a bolo was sent on the 26th. If they have lunch, they can go outside and sit down in the right frame of mind, it's very easy to walk away. Susan Burns with the Human and Civil Rights Coalition explains the Georgia Department of Corrections should do more to inform the public. Department of Corrections should issue a press release as soon as they know someone is gone. A statement from GDOC said in part, unfortunately, some individuals make a decision not to return to the facility from their jobs or otherwise leave the facility. When that occurs, the GDC dedicates all of our fugitive unit resources toward immediate action and recapture. And we're continuing to work to try and learn more about what happened between the time Coleman left for his assignment and did not return and when an initial bolo was sent that he was not at the facility. We've also been reaching out to the coroner or the medical examiner all day. We have still not learned the identity of the person who was stabbed. Back to you. All right, Karis, thank you so much.